Hospital told an elderly driver collapsed at the wheel of her car after suffering a cardiac arrest. Her vehicle then went out of control in Fleet earlier this year. The car struck Jill Wilson, who'd been out with her baby son. The coroner placed no blame on the pensioner's driving, but said older motorists should have regular checkups. Keith Malone was in court. A harrowing occasion today for grieving husband Ian Wilson, supported throughout the inquest by his brother Mel. Ian still hasn't come to terms with the cruel twist of fate at Fleet this summer which left his young wife Jill dead and nearly claimed the life of his baby son Anthony. A dreadful accident in which elderly driver Winifred Fletcher suffered a heart attack, ploughing into mother and child as they travelled along the pavement. At today's inquest, the coroner heard from Joan Wathews, a passenger in Mrs Fletcher's car. She described how they were going on a picnic with the town's women's guild. Mrs Wathews told the coroner how her friend suddenly collapsed over the steering wheel and headed straight towards the pavement. She said, I screamed, Wynne, what are you doing? But then I saw she was totally inert. I knew she was dead. There was also evidence from motorist Terry Baldwin following immediately behind. He described how the Triumph suddenly swerved towards the pavement at great speed and hit Mrs Wilson and the pushchair from behind. Coroner Andrew Bradley gave a verdict of accidental death on Mrs Wilson and death by natural causes on Mrs Fletcher. He placed no blame on her driving but said elderly drivers should have regular medical checkups. After the inquest, Ian Wilson described how support from family and friends was helping him rebuild his life. It's been remarkable. I mean, I didn't, I didn't realise I had so many friends. You sort of get into a, your own little um, insular family situation and then something like this happens and people really um, really shock you by what, what they're prepared to do and um, I'd just like to think that um, if something similar happened to one of my friends that I, I would be able to do the same. His son Anthony came out of hospital last week. He'll need continued treatment for severe head injuries. In the meantime there are no recriminations from Ian Wilson against Mrs Fletcher or elderly drivers. A memorial fund will pay for a tree to be planted in memory of a loving young mother. Keith Malone, for Meridian Tonight.